September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican.
Oh, <laughs> 
to describe the look on her face was not the kind of look a child gives you. Okay, okay, it's checking this in. Can I That must be Amy, the middle one, the middle little one. There's a guy in red robes and a big, big black thing. <laughs> Who the hell is that? It's not. <laughs> My cow. Mmm, it's scared. Hey there, Anson. What the? Job. 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 Mirror demon. Okay, let's check upstairs. It's pretty quiet. Too quiet. Something has to be going on around here. Like a demonic possession. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside or around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition is only going worse. I can't stand to be around her and I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself. I want to take her to, to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day. And now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Bob, honey dear. Bob never came home. No, I'm just joking. She, he did. He did. He, how would he have been there for the exorcism? I assume it was an exorcism. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me. Like when I first met her downstairs, we spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it experienced a bit of deception from the demon. 
during our conversation, she, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other, and in another instance, and in other instances, spoke perfect Latin, called help from one, from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the ride again. I'm assuming that was me. <clears throat> Exorcism. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for his birthday. I'll ask a niece about it next time. We have book club. She looks like she could have been from over she could be from over there. Oh, okay. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would have rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing the baby baby doll makes her feel self conscious about working at the clinic. Baby doll. Be gone, demon. Be gone, demon. Ooh, it's a music box. Did they have Simon Says back in 1987? Back in my day. Okay, it's been quiet for too long. I can't stand the silence anymore. It makes a noise. Well, if I suddenly quit, I'd be pissed. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in a submission. We are, we are working and there's a lot of folks who practice, who practice Kibamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15. <coughs> we asked him if he had ever prayed. He said, no, but I've prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. <laughs> He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him that he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Layton. Layton never wrote back to Amy after that, I, I assume. Probably not. Michael? Someone's getting ready to burn a cross around here. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Note. What? If you will do, if you have this suit outfit, you get to wear, you get to use the lightning warrior suit. Is that like a, what is that? I have no idea what that is. Just buy it. But, there's the Rico Rodriguez one, there's the lightning warrior sword, and then there's the gunfire suit. That's out of the I, I say I just saved up three hundred. Now, which one I should get. Okay. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical. 
and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. <clears throat> Father already asked me to take the Martins upstairs, but specifically warned out to manage to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything again in the basement, so I went down to check on things. <clears throat> I found other Father Al Alred lying on his bed, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Be gone, demonic symbols. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior, father, with, with when I confronted her, she managed to cut power to the house, and her own parents, with their own, I have to go back to that house, the nightmares I'm having are real, she's still there waiting for me, I can still help her, if I, I can still help her, waiting there for me I can still help her if I don't come back no but I love you and I'm sorry Karen please don't take the kids <laughs> oh, dance Ooh. my god what happened to you do you see my face is pretty oh, yeah. I have to finish what I started
Mortis. Now I am Yucky. Ah, oh, yeah, you're Yucky. Yeah, I am Yucky Ducky. I am the definition of Yucky Ducky. Mm hmm. Look at this. She died. <laughs> she died. Yes, finally. Nah, just joking. Oh no, she died. She probably broke her neck when she jumped out the window. Oh look, a gun. A gun with one bullet. Hmm. with one bullet. I may have, there may be, this may, this gun may have a gun with one bullet. bullet. But, I have an infinite amount of guns with one bullet. So basically, infinite bullets. I just have to use a gun each time. Oh. Bored. No, no. <sighs> Good.
นะผมเอ็กอร์วิสวัดบอยส์ชูว่าไปไหนจะไปไหนเอ็กอร์วิสวัดบอยส์God with what boy. <laughs> Since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute, <clears throat> Doctor Spinel, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions, and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. Doctor Spinel's help I uh, have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin Family Residence. <clears throat> That's that. What happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the, the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her domestic parents, dogmatic parents, and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. <clears throat> I am happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have finally have ceased, and I now enjoy peace of mind. That the peace of mind. That I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute, contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinell in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Hey, that's me. I don't have a reflection. Oh, look. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet.
I call up Willie, please. You're a bitch. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor of the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. of Christ compel you. Thank you. 
Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of of Palmyra. Wait, is there like a country or? Oh no. Nope. Okay. John Ward of Pam Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after state troopers reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious. After being uh, pulled over when questioned, Ward reportedly said I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup. After Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeat repeatedly there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries, suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutil mutilated in a very beautiful... Hey. What? Hey, what's this? Ah, uh, yeah, bullet time. Huh? Cool, eh? Yeah. Mutilated in a very brutal manner, Ward was then dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Dodged a bullet twice. I'm not gonna dodge it again. Okay. You shot someone three times. Two out of those three times, they uh, would not hit. No, that. I will send up the lawyer, he is my refuge, and my fortress. My cock in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of Father and son. Oh. 
Esteemed Cardinal Griffith, Griffith, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael with that being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael, with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him, fights bed with increasing ferocity. Not, not, we must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but if, or it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. So that there, yeah, I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Uh. Oh, so so the the spider. with one bullet. The albino monster is is a uh, uh, is it's just a it's just a wee little boy. With love. I know. Sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you're only 17, but you're clearly an adult. But you're able to handle, handle your own work. Don't let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a, a get-together at the clinic Saturday night. And I would have, and I would love for you to stop by. I still consider you a part of the team. And if your mom and dad do not, and uh, uh, still consider you part of it of, of the team, even if your mom and dad do not, we hope to see you there, Gary. A dog with one bullet.
Oh yeah. Get squatted on deer. Oh dear. It's a it's a dead deer. <laughs> I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. The hunter. Okay. Unidentified body discovered near a wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident on Snake Middle Hill Road. The driver of a, of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body d appeared deared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect that this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car from a white-tailed deer. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 25 pounds back to the car. Okay. Yeah, that's it.